Welcome back, my home slices. Or my unhome slices. How you doing today? Joe Kills Nest's heroic challenge. We got six elite waves and one life total. Uh, you get to pick your towers here, so feel free to do whatever you want. But you are going to need some grouped attack power for the left side. Uh, you're going to need quite a bit of regular damage on the right, which is going to sadly switch into magic damage uh, a little bit later on. So... Uh, what I'd recommend doing is definitely starting off with a Bone Flinger over here. He's going to be excellent for the beginning part of the game, but he's going to sort of suffer a little bit later on, so I'd probably just stick with one of these guys, and that's kind of it. Um, if you want to, you can go up to the Skeleton Walkers as well, but I would probably hold off on that, at least for a little bit. Instead, what we can do is we can block people in here with a nice, juicy, delicious Orc Den. That should be in range of the uh, Bone Flingers here, and we're basically set on that side as far as the left side is concerned. We got wolves coming in here. So I'm going to go for a pretty interesting combo. I'm going to go for a, uh, a furnace start into uh, a nice mausoleum over here with two blocking towers. We want some orcs to keep people uh, at bay, and then we want to put some elite harassers right behind them to shoot any of these wolves that are coming through. Uh, as far as your hero goes, I'm thinking for today's purposes, we're going to go with Olok. It seems like he ends up being probably your best guy in this area. He's not bad in any other area, but I just really like him for this one. So, uh, yeah, there's gonna be lots of wolves coming in here, so basically all you gotta do is just get your reinforcements in here and pop them up and think about what you wanna do. But if you look at the top right over here, this is what about the bone flingers all the way up. I know a lot of you guys really like to build the towers kind of like back here and defend over here and stuff like that, and this situation is probably worse for you. Uh, basically all it's gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow those ice witches to just you know, build a bunch of stupid uh, Apex Stalker shards. And then you're, yeah, look at these things. We've got two Apex shards over here. That sucks. We don't want shards to be going running through our defense. So that's why we got the orcs here to defend and make sure nobody's sneaking through. Now, all my money's actually to be invested in this furnace here. And it's not because we want to kill the wolves with the furnace. It's because for the future levels, for the future rounds, there's going to be these guys that we're going to have to kill with the furnace. So I'm going to stop at this layer for now, just a third tier, but I do want to get a fourth tier eventually. Alright, just getting a little bit of a pile up over here. If we need to, we can use our Soul Crusher at any point, Soul Impact. But I'd rather not, to be completely honest. I'd rather just go completely Soul Impact list until we absolutely need it, man. Alright. I think it's going to get to the point where we get enough wolves all jam-packed in here, man. But what I'm going to do is, and the next thing I'm going to do, do is I'm going to get at least a decent level magic over here. Because check what we got coming out next, man. We've got Northern Huntresses and Nanok War Bears. Yeah, plus on the right side we got Glacial Wolves and Apex Stalkers. So, um, we're going to need 17 extra gold for standing out early. It's not really worth it, but eh, something. So, Sadly, what you need to do is you need to get your orcs upgraded just a little bit. Oh, what the heck? Why did they just run right through? What did they, why did they run through again? I have no idea how and why that just happened, but it, it did. He's not even supposed to run that way. He's supposed to go the other way. Like, what the heck just happened? None of that made sense. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get these guys upgraded again. Make sure nobody's going to be sneaking through over there. Uh, there's just, there is a lot of beefy guys coming in. The war bears, pfft, jump change. But on the right side here, man, too many sneaky guys. So let's get rid of them. And we're going to get a fourth tier mausoleum. There we go. Get that war bear out of here. All right. Uh, I think it's about that time, guys. What do you think? Gargoyle time? It's always gargoyle time. He's going to block these war bears. Basically, a, gar a gargoyle against any regular attacking melee unit virtually never dies. Um, it's not impossible, but if you actually like just look at the amount of damage people do compared to how much damage we're doing to them, on top of having towers attack them and stuff like that, it's really rare to have a gargoyle die. And it's especially rare to have both gargoyles die at the same time. Now, you might be thinking that we're going to overkill this. So look at this, the gargoyle. I just said he's probably not going to die, but guess what he's going to do here, guys? I think he might die. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't. Come on, gargoyle. You can do it, buddy. Survive. Survive. All right. So for the next level here, this is why we got the furnace over here. We need the fourth tier, baby. We've got wildlings and valkyries coming in. On top of that, we're going to go for a bone flingers. So we want a good combination of attack damage. This side, though, we've got leap dragons coming in. 
So we're going to have to be extra specially careful over here against those leap dragons. They're just going to want to jump right over your defense, right? Hopefully what they're going to happen, that what's going to happen, though, is going to jump right on my orcs. That is ideal. Jump on my orcs, we'll kill you, and then uh, game over. So check out these Valkyries, man. Um, there's two ways to do it. One way to do it is to teleport them backwards so all these guys don't get revived. Uh, and then what you can do is you can hope that you can either stall them until you can soul impact properly, or you can just kill them by themselves with your stuff and have them revive nobody. Um, either way, just make sure you try and keep those guys away from your people as much as you possibly can. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go up to fourth tier or orcs over here just to keep these guys right next to my bone flingers. But for this next round, we got to prepare. We're going to need some magic over here because there's going to be some frost giants coming in here. And there's not very many ways to deal with frost giants except with... In my opinion, the mausoleum. Take them over, let them fight for you, because they have extreme damage. They're going to just chop right through your guys, but if you take them over and you let them fight other frost giants against each other, oh boy, you're going to be happy, man. Oh boy, oh boy. So let's do it again. We're going to teleport, get her out of here, just send her backwards, keep everybody kind of separated for a second. Uh, there's different ways to do it. You can try and use reinforcements to block her in or whatever, but a teleport seems to work really, really well. So with Olok, you basically got it covered. Here we go. She is going to revive some of these guys. Um, yeah, she revived some of them, but not 12. You know, I, I think that's that's pretty important there. <laughs> At least to me it is. And the main thing about these Valkyries and these Draugrs is that the Draugrs have magic resistance. The Valkyries got armor. So that combination ends up being pretty deadly for you. So we got a bunch of money right now. What are we going to buy? I'm thinking it's finally time here, guys. Let's get uh, let's get this Bone Flinger up first. And then we're going to get this mausoleum upgraded next. But what's going to happen is Olok's going to shift over here for wave four over to the right side. Cause we have the oh, wait, excuse me. I lied. I lied. It's not yet, man. we got three Frost Giants and uh, 20 uh, Huntresses and four Ice Witches and Leap Dragon combo over here. So basically the exact same thing we've just been doing on the right side. Just be good about it. Maybe use your reinforcements over here. We're going to hope that the... Uh, uh, furnace over here ends up destroying most of these huntresses, and by that point, the frost giant's just going to end up dying from random magic, or hopefully my gargoyle can stall for long enough, because, uh, you know, you don't realize, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six units, plus Olok, and with all that combined together, it's not really very easy, even for strong units, to kill all of your guys like that. It just doesn't happen, you know? All right, so we're going for the mausoleum now. I want that fourth tier. First of all, we can get gargoyle. Second of all, we can get that uh, uh, that takeover. Actually, I think first of all, we can get the takeover. Second of all, we can get gargoyles. So orcs still doing a great job over here, but they're finally starting to die. Yes, that's why we use the reinforcements and try and keep our teleport here for as long as possible. All right, mausoleum. And the nice thing about the mausoleum, too, is he's not that bad at doing damage. If we have a leap dragon trying to sneak through, guess what? We got the magic damage right here and ready to go. Because leap dragons really don't have that much health, only 275, but they do have that armor. So you got to kill them with the magic. Well, you don't have to. Uh, because they're so weak, you can kill them with pretty much anything. But anyways, we got frost giants coming in here. We got leap dragons and... Svel Druids coming in over here on the right as well. Alright, so let's use this possession. Look at this guy right here. He's trying to sneak through my defense. Man. I ain't gonna allow it. Let's get him out of here. Get him out of here. So here we go. We do have this uh, Frost Giant coming in here. So anyways, instead of having them fight up in the front there, we're gonna move them back a little bit. Uh, this this guy, he, he, honestly, at this point, if you want to, you can just sell him. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. This is one of the only challenges where selling things actually makes sense, you know? But now we're taking him over, and right now he's not really going to do all that much with the whole takeover aspect, because it's not going to last all that long. Um, he's just it's basically like double people up. But when we take him over the next time, hopefully they fight each other and kill each other. All right. So now we, I, I'm not saying we're completely and 100% covered on the left, on the right side, but I believe we're going to be okay over here. So we're going to focus mostly on the left for now. There we go. Ta oh, what the heck? We're taking over the wrong guy. Would you look at that? But, I mean, it's still a long takeover, so that's the good news. All right, so, uh, bone flingers, baby. I like my bone flingers. Big, strong, and juicy. All right, take this one over. Come on, do it. Take him over. There we go. Now we're going to get some ice giants fighting each other. Frost giant, fight! 
Look at them punch each other. Now, they're still only doing about 50 damage each time because they both have armor. Even with their shots, you can just kind of see what's going on. And it looks like a gargoyle is going to end up dying here. It's okay. Sucks a little bit. Not terrible. And we're going... Oh! 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 So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go for a The Walking Dead 1 and a single dollar off. I'm going to go for The Walking Dead 2. And hopefully this is going to keep enough skeletons popping out of the ground, keeping all those guys busy. You know, even if i got to shoot them every, every once in a while. Um, I'll be happy with that. So we go, we got two Frost Giants punching each other again. Now we've got ten Frost Giants coming out for this final wave right here, guys. And more Frost Giants. This time, 54 Wildlings and nine Valkyries. So they're going to try and get you with that whole grouped bunch up right there. So now what we're going to do is we're definitely going to go for this Red Hot Coal out one and two. Pan, out of the frying pan. And basically just buy some crap over here too. Um, realistically, I think I'm still fine against the Frost Giants on the right. You can see with the skeletons popping up, with the mausoleum, with the takeover, you know, I'm not too afraid. So bam, bam, take these guys down. Now again, just make sure you try and keep the Valkyries away from your guys as much as possible. Even if it's just stunning them for like a quick second while everybody else dies. Uh, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Keep her busy as long as you can. She's going to raise up some uh, draugers, but even even so, guess what? They're in range of this big boy right here, and they can take down draugers like it's their freaking business. Um, massive damage to those guys. But the Valkyrie's got to get killed with the magic with my mausoleum right here. All right. Um, so even a big group of units, no problem. And again, another ice giant fight, baby. Woo! That's how you get it going. So we have like a billion dollars right now. What are we going to do with it all? Uh, I guess we'll go for a second gargoyle. I guess we're going to start getting some extra skeletons popping out right here. Um, we're going to try and split these guys up. We're going to teleport three of these guys back. Now, ooh, this is going to be interesting. Can we kill the Valkyries before we kill all these other guys? I don't know. Or is everybody going to get rose from the dead? Because if they do, I'm totally down to just do a soul crusher to, to end all soul crushers right here, guys. It's, it's going to be huge, but bam! Look at that go right there. A big one. And we got so much money to work with. Let's just buy whatever the heck we want. Just buy stuff, man. Whatever you want. Buy it all. We're going to TP these guys back again. Just get them out of there. Buy uh, some orc upgrades. Make sure that no matter what, they're never going to get past that uh, that little choke spot right there. Little choke point. And finally, we got the frost giants coming in. So, uh, kind of a big, bad last bit to end this level, but that's where the possession comes in, man. Look at that. We actually got frost giants and Valkyries fighting each other. And it looks like the Valkyrie is not necessarily winning, but not getting hurt too bad. All right, so we got four guys piled up. We're going to go for it again. Soul Crusher. Possession, possession, possession. One of my favorites in the entire game. Basically doing double damage to what, whatever's actually doing damage there. It's double whatever that is. So when we punch each other once and they each do 50 damage, we're really doing 100 damage, you know? All right. Uh, I guess we'll just put this there. And... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever we got, man. If we need to TP, we can TP. But we're going to move Olak over to the other side. Um, there we go. Let's let's do this. Let's TP these guys back really quick. Let myself get some damage in here. And that's basically the end of the game here, guys. These Frost Giants, they seem like they're a big deal, but if you've got the Mausoleum on your team, they ain't going to be a big deal. I love myself some mausoleums. I, I, I think a lot of people probably underestimate this tower. Uh, that's why I gave it a 10 out of 10 when I was reviewing these towers. The only tower that I gave a 10 out of 10, I feel like it's the most versatile, fun, interesting, and of course, juicy tower over here. I know juicy isn't really a good descriptive word, but it can be. All right, there it is, guys. That's the heroic challenge. Um, yeah.
It's as easy as that. Uh, no trolls, actually. I know that you got troll huts there, but you don't need them. You can use them if you want to, but really, you're not going to do that much damage. Uh, they're probably going to cause more problems than you think it, they're going to even save over here. So the next one, we're going to go for the heroic challenge over here. Or, no, excuse me, the iron challenge over here, where we get to use one of the new towers over here, which is going to be kind of exciting. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, press the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.